Well, you see him on the inside. You see him. They're being. They're passing him. And you see the 61 moves over the 22 car. They make contact, and the 77 of Jacob Heppner was right there. You see Connor Hall makes some contact with some cars on the outside. Natalie Decker is the one that makes contact with Jacob Heppner. He would have got by, but she had no place to go. You see Andy Sice, the 02, also involved. But it all stems from trying to get around the lap car. The lap car, Scott Mount, wasn't doing anything wrong. He was on the inside of the racetrack against a double yellow line. Boy, there's one car, I believe it's Riley Herbst, that just somehow avoids all of this. Watch the AT car, middle of your screen, black AT. It's all going to come slide, missed it there. Car's going to come slide down in front of him a little bit further down. Riley Herbst doing a great job of staying out of that incident here that's happened on lap 39. I think more than half the field was involved in that incident. Well, when you get to this restrictor plate racing, you hear about it all the time. We don't like to talk about it, but it was the big one. More than 10 cars involved in an incident here in turn one. Now on one of the 15 cars, Drew Dollar. You hear it gearing down. What a great job. Went way down away from the racetrack through the grass, but he avoided those cars. Nice job by Drew Dollar, that 18 year old. Cleanup is on here at Daytona International Speedway after this incident involving more than 10 cars. The big one happening in the Arkham Menard Series is just at the halfway point of the Lucas Oil 200.